Ear bone decay means, doctor, I have ear bone decay. What is it? And how is it different from regular infections? Is it a congenital issue? Well, the first thing to know is that ear bone decay is a type of infection. These infections are like dental issues. When there's inflammation and decay in a tooth, it might just need a regular filling. Similarly, when ear infections are mild, the main problem is the eardrum falling, but it requires treatment and a simple procedure to repair the eardrum. But if we leave that tooth, the infection can reach the nerve, and then we need to remove part of the tooth and perform a root canal. The same story applies to the ear. Behind the ear, there's a bone, and if the infection or microbe reaches this bone, we must clean the ear through a procedure from inside the ear and also clean the bone behind the ear to prevent further issues. So, doctor, how can I know if I have decay in the ear bones? If my ear has been discharging pus for a long time and the pus has a very, very bad smell, an unbearable odor for the patient, and if the pus gets on the pillow or something, it turns everything into a very bad smelling situation with pus and a terrible odor, it can also last for a long time, months and years. And of course, hearing is accompanied by complications because this condition is what we call bone decay in the ear. The microbe not only affects the ear, but also affects the ear bone and the mastoid bone behind the ear. It also has the ability to affect the small bones that separate the ear from the brain. Consequently, its complications can cause infections in the meninges or serious brain issues. That's why its treatment isn't just medication. It requires surgery. Medication can only reduce the inflammation, but the primary solution is surgery. This surgery isn't dangerous, but it can be a bit painful. There is a nerve in the ear that runs alongside the seventh nerve, which supplies the face and moves the facial muscles. So, the surgeon takes care of this while performing the operation to avoid damaging it. But is it okay to leave an ear bone infection without surgery? No, it's extremely dangerous because it can erode the bone inside the ear and subsequently spread to other areas, the most dangerous being the brain, of course. The earlier we perform the surgery, the better. The issue with the surgery is that hearing doesn't improve significantly afterward. Our main concern is not to restore or improve hearing, but rather to remove all the small bones and infected areas within the ear. We clean the entire bone, similar to how we clean a tooth before filling a cavity. The most important thing for me is that if we... There is a very bad smell from the ear pus, we should not leave it, especially in children or in older people who have diabetes or weakened immunity. They must undergo the surgery. Hopefully, when the surgery is successful and everything is fine, after six months or a year, we ensure that there is no recurrence of the infections or decay. Then we can work on improving hearing, whether through hearing aids, devices, or another surgery to repair the ear bones and restore the ear canal. The surgery is indeed major and can have complications, but the problems that occur if we leave this decay are much greater. Anyone whose ear produces pus with a bad smell must go for a checkup. If the doctor tells them there is decay and the bones are affected, they must undergo the surgery. Wishing you all the best and a speedy recovery. If you like these videos, please give them a like and subscribe to the channel so we know you are looking forward to more videos. Wishing you all the best.